Hi everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure with a backpack review. This is a backpack I picked up a couple years ago. Um, it's the Faude Astra 2. Now, Faude is the, apparently the correct pronunciation of it, but it's written V A U D E, Vaude, um, for the North Americans among us, including myself. Now, this backpack is, is a what I would consider to be a heavy hauling pack. It's a good entry level heavy hauler. It's heavy, it's about five pounds, and that's a really heavy backpack. It's what they call a 55 plus 10, so it's got a 55 pound capacity, uh, sorry, 55 liter capacity with another 10 pounds in the lid. Now the first thing uh, that you're gonna notice about this pack is it has a lot of webbing, a lot of cord cords on the edge, and uh, uh, that's gonna weigh it down. If you wanted to get it to your right size and cut off a bunch of that, you'd be able to save yourself a lot of weight. Um, so this pack is one of the nice things about it. It's a very versatile, it's a one size pack. It's got a lot of support on this belt. You can see it's got a really good padding on it for the waist. It's got a um, good padding on the shoulders, load lifters and everything you're gonna need for it. Um, very good breathability and good padding on the back as well. It's got an internal frame, very strong, heavy internal frame. And as you can see with these little bits here, it's adjustable. This is a, um, a Velcro uh, strap that you can use to pull it up and, and shrink down the pack or make it bigger according to your need. So the one nice thing about it is that uh, it's going to fit pretty much anybody and fit them well. Uh, the, the load lifters as well are, are nice on it. I find that with these extra cords, like say, if you don't cut them out, they're going to flap and get in your way uh, when you use them. So on the back, there's, there's some double uh, loops for, uh, for trekking poles or for um, your ice pick and stuff like that. It's got, a, as well, a separate compartment with some heavy duty zippers. It's got an extra compartment for your sleeping bag and an inside zipper as well that uh, opens up for that. <laughs> My kids are going swimming. Um, it's one of these ones that allows you to open up the back and uh, get to anything inside the pack as well. So um, that's a definitely a, a benefit if you're a person that's going to be hauling a lot of stuff and wants to get access to everything. Um, it uses the... Um... Hey, thank you Abigail. She rescued another product test that I did. Now, it uses Cordura, which is a heavy duty fabric and it's a heavy duty version on it. Uh, the side pockets, it has side pockets down here at the bottom and side pocket, uh, just an open one and a zipper pocket on the side, which as you can see can expand to carry a lot of stuff. Now, the, what I found with this though is unfortunately the downside is that once you use this pocket, it's hard to get anything out of there or put anything in here. So it's pretty much one or the other. Um, the lid itself, all right, um, is uh, it, you, you cannot fully, you can detach it if you want, but it has this little Velcro strap that flaps around if you do. So you can take off the lid, but the lid itself is very high capacity. It has the full zipper top. You can use it to hold up to 10 liters of stuff if you combine the outside and the inside, the inside pocket, which I usually carry first aid stuff in and stuff like that as you would. So that's, that's the, the lid itself. Um, it's got the uh, cinch top as well if you want to use that and you don't want to bring the lid with you. Um, and the one other thing that as well is really nice is on the bottom here, it has a built-in, detachable but built-in rain, rain cloth. I detached it last time and apparently I didn't put it back on. So rain cover will be really good. I used it on a trip. Matches my jacket. It's nice and bright and orange, high visibility. And um, works really well. So um, all in all, if you're looking for a, a, a backpack and you're looking for a versatile, heavy carrying backpack, so you can put a lot of weight in it, something that's versatile as well for, um, for many different back sizes, take a look at it easy to cinch up, easy to adjust, and uh, lots of uh, spots for, to attach stuff in different places. So I don't use it as much, but I will be using it in the summer, uh, especially when I'm backpacking with the kids, if you're going to have to carry a lot of stuff like their clothes and foods, and, and in one case, some diapers, then uh, you might not be in the, uh, <laughs> in the market for an ultralight uh, backpack.
This one is a nice entry level backpack, the Faude Astra 2. Um, pick it up, I picked it up at Sierra Trading Post a couple years back. I think you can still pick it up there. Um, check it out. And uh, if you have any other backpacks by Faude, they're not as, as well, well used in North America, but tell me what you think, tell me what your opinions are. All right, thanks. Hi everyone, this is Paul again. Now, hi everyone. Hi. Hi everyone.